Welcome to another enlightening video session. Today, we derive our insights from the impeccable source, The Motley Fool. The link is provided in the description below. In this session, we take a deep dive into the world of Bitcoin, specifically focusing on a crucial event known as Bitcoin halving. But before we delve into that, what is Bitcoin? It's a decentralized cryptocurrency created in 2009 by an anonymous person or group of people using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Operating on a sophisticated technology called blockchain, Bitcoin has a limited supply of 21 million coins. It can be used for transactions, as a store of value, or as an investment. Now, let's turn our attention to Bitcoin rewards and halving. This is a process where the rewards that Bitcoin miners receive for verifying transactions and adding them to the blockchain are cut in half. This event happens approximately every four years, or after every 210,000 blocks are mined. It's a significant event because it effectively reduces the number of new Bitcoins entering circulation. In this light, we'd like to express our gratitude to The Motley Fool and the author for sharing this valuable information that forms the basis of our discussion today. The Motley Fool is a renowned financial services company that provides market analysis, investing solutions, and helps individuals make informed investment decisions. Now, let's move on to understand the process of Bitcoin halving and its impact. Bitcoin halving, an intriguing event that happens every four years, has a significant impact on Bitcoin miners and investors alike. This event is a fundamental part of the Bitcoin protocol, designed by its anonymous creator, Satoshi Nakamoto. But what exactly is Bitcoin halving and how does it work? Let's dive right in. Bitcoin halving is an event where the reward for mining new blocks is halved, hence the term halving. It's a process designed to control the supply of Bitcoin and combat inflation. Currently, miners are rewarded with 900 Bitcoins each day. However, come April, this number will drop to 450 Bitcoins per day. This is a significant decrease and has a direct impact on miners who effectively see their income cut in half overnight. The reason behind this halving is the finite number of Bitcoins that can ever exist, 21 million. This limit was set by Nakamoto when Bitcoin was created and the halving event ensures that the final Bitcoin won't be mined until well into the next century. This scarcity is one of the factors that gives Bitcoin its value. You might be wondering, why would miners continue to mine Bitcoin if their rewards are being halved? Well, the hope is that the decrease in supply, coupled with steady or increasing demand, will drive up the value of Bitcoin. In this case, even though miners are receiving fewer Bitcoins, the ones they do receive could be worth more in terms of fiat currency. Bitcoin halving has happened three times before, in 2012, 2016, and 2020. Each time, it's caused a lot of speculation and volatility in the market, but ultimately, the price of Bitcoin has tended to increase in the months following the halving. So how does this halving affect Bitcoin's price? Let's find out next. Historically, Bitcoin's price has shown a tendency to swell before and after the halving. Now, you might be wondering, why does this happen? Well, it's all about the classic economic principle of supply and demand. Bitcoin rewards to miners are set to decrease from 900 per day to 450 per day sometime in April. This means the supply of new Bitcoins entering the market is significantly reduced. On the flip side, demand for Bitcoin doesn't just disappear overnight. If anything, the reduced supply often sparks increased interest, as people scramble to get their hands on what suddenly seems like a more scarce resource. This combination of reduced supply and steady or increased demand can result in a surge in Bitcoin's price. But that's not the only factor at play here. The four-year liquidity cycle also has its role in influencing Bitcoin's price. By this, we mean the cyclical pattern of liquidity in the financial markets, which can impact investor behavior and, subsequently, the price of assets like Bitcoin. Also, let's not forget the incumbent effect in the U.S. election that takes place every four years. The Federal Reserve has a history of pumping liquidity into the market to bolster the economy, making the incumbent president look good for re-election. This influx of liquidity can also boost Bitcoin's price. At this point, it's worth noting that we're currently in a macro environment where the U.S. markets are down less than 1%. So 
Some, like Tyler S. on YouTube, are viewing this as an opportune time to go long and accumulate more Bitcoin. Of course, the future is not set in stone. We could see Bitcoin's price go lower, or it could continue to consolidate. This could depend partly on outflows from the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, and we'll have to wait and see what tomorrow's data looks like. All in all, it's a fascinating time for Bitcoin. As Crypto Crew University on YouTube rightly pointed out, it may be riskier to be out of Bitcoin than to be in it. With this understanding, let's see what the future holds for Bitcoin. While some predict a consolidation period followed by record highs, it's important to remember that investment in Bitcoin comes with its own set of risks. Let's delve into the perspectives of various experts. Tyler S., a prominent voice in the crypto community, has been vocal about his predictions. He believes we may see a period of consolidation within the Bitcoin market over the next few weeks. This consolidation, he suggests, could set the stage for a significant upswing, potentially leading to all-time highs in the weeks that follow. This prediction, however, isn't set in stone. It's contingent on several factors, one of them being the outflows from Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, or GPTC. These outflows can have a significant impact on Bitcoin's price. Unfortunately, as of now, we don't have the data for today's outflows, but we'll soon see how this information may influence the market dynamics. This brings us to a poignant reminder from Crypto Crew University. They posit that in the current climate, it could be riskier to be out of Bitcoin than to be in it. This perspective underscores the potential gains that Bitcoin might hold for investors. However, it's essential to remember that the crypto market, like any investment avenue, comes with its own set of risks, and it's crucial to do thorough research and consider your financial situation before making any decisions. But remember, these are just predictions, not financial advice. Always consult a professional for advice. As we conclude this session, we hope you have a better understanding of Bitcoin halving and its potential impact on Bitcoin's price. We've learned that Bitcoin rewards to miners will decrease, which could potentially lead to a rise in Bitcoin's value. This is due to the basic principle of supply and demand. As the supply decreases and demand remains constant, prices tend to rise. We also discussed the influence of the four-year liquidity cycle and the incumbent effect in the US election on Bitcoin's value. Furthermore, we touched on the current macro environment, including the state of the US markets. Remember, these are complex topics and the world of cryptocurrency can be unpredictable. As such, it's important to stay informed and prepared. For more insights and analysis like this, be sure to explore the variety of videos on our channel. If you found this information helpful, your engagement would be greatly appreciated. Like and share this video to spread the knowledge. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. We'd love to hear your thoughts as well, so please leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description. They lead to articles that provided information for this video, including content from The Motley Fool. These resources offer valuable insights to help you navigate the financial market. And lastly, you can support our channel by making your everyday purchases through the Amazon and other affiliate links available on our website. Every bit of support helps us continue to bring you quality content. Remember to check out the links in the description and don't forget to support our channel by making your everyday purchases through the Amazon and other affiliate links available on our website. Thank you for watching.